Justin Boyd will lead it off, the sophomore from Parker, Colorado. 373 on the year. And the first pitch of the night from Tommy O'Rourke is ball one. Travis Reininger at first. Christopher Gonzalez, the umpire at second. Steve Mattingly at third as Boyd lines it out toward right center. And the Oregon State Beavers pick up right where they left off in a leadoff single. And Justin Boyd's 11th hit of the tournament. Shocker. Full count. Swing and a miss. Got him. Pulled the string on it. Yeah, that was a nice change up on a 3-2 count. And he struck out three. Gets his second strikeout here. Two gone. And Adley Rutschman, the most RBIs in a season in Oregon State history. And after leadoff hit, Tommy O'Rourke, three straight strikeouts to strand the runner. Ball out toward right center. And on the move is Wade Meckler. Plays it on a bounce to get by him. And he falls down and it rolls all the way to the wall. Carter Graham digging around second. And Carter Graham ends up at third base for Stanford. If it goes down as a triple, that's his first career triple. Yeah. Yeah. to right, Brett Barrera puts Stanford in the lead here in the last of the first inning. RBI number 49 for Barrera as Graham comes in to score one nothing Cardinal. That's just a solid move to the baseball. Brett Barrera looking for that cutter that he just got the pitch before on the outside corner. And with that same swing, it was a nice pitch sequence by Mitch Verberg trying to throw that fastball middle in. And Barrera just stays back and just rips that ball into right. Gets jammed a little bit, but that's okay. Talk about the five tools of a baseball player. There's a ball driven out to center. Justin Boyd going back, still going back onto the track. Looks up, it's gone. Straight away center over the big batter's eye. 3-0 Stanford. Mary just put on the, the Dark Knight Batman mask. I love it, yeah. Well, he is a Batman, my goodness. Only a freshman, like you mentioned. Flags oh moving out to dead center, and he crud. This guy that is a strong, strong kid. Watch this pitch. Bass up in the zone. Look at the launch angle of that swing. No doubter here in Scottsdale, out dead center. The top beat, Oregon State two out of three during the regular season, so it's real close right here. Hard ground at a second, handled by Travis Pizzana, then throws wide to first base, pulling Garrett Forrester off the bag. And Brock Jones is on with one away here in the second. But Texas Tech and Arkansas not hosting hit and run on, and Carter Graham pulls one out to left center. Brock Jones couldn't find it, and then by the time he located where the baseball was, it was too late to try to get to third. And he'll stop at second base, and Carter Graham two for two. Herrera. Brock Jones and Carter Graham running on the pitch, and it's ball four, and they're loaded for Braden Montgomery. When you get a chance to go play at a high level in college baseball, there's too much learning that goes on in those three years. And what a pitch by Jaron Hunter. Decisive third game. 3-2. Swing and a miss, and he got him, and you're right, he challenged him in. Good movement on that pitch from Jaron Hunter. Bowser and some of those guys just kind of caught up to the, you know, Brett Barreras and, and uh, uh, Carter Grams, who just you know, set such a good pace for us. And so... Make himself a lot of money, and it... Yeah. Goes without saying, it changes your life. And he singles to center. Brock Jones charging it. To second goes Meckler. Oregon State in business here in the fourth over Oregon State. And that's ball four, and they're loaded. Meckler slides over to third. Up to second goes Jacob. One strike pitch. Gets away from Cody Huff over toward the Oregon State dugout. Wade Meckler comes into the wild pitch. Jacob Melton to third, up to second, Travis Pizzana, and Oregon State is on the board. Bouncer to first, Carter Graham on a wicked hop stays with it. Gets the out at first, Jacob Melton trots home, over to third goes Pizzana, and we have a one-run game. Productive out for Greg Fuchs. 2-2 Two -two pitch, breaking ball, strike three call. Good action for Dowd against a second strikeout and strands that runner at third base. As a Stanford head coach for David Esker, his fifth year back at his alma mater as Adam Crampton hit by a pitch from Jaron Hunter to start the bottom of the fourth. It feels like you can go the other way, no problem. You can see right there. And it just makes you a better hitter. 
Adam Crampton racing around to third as Fuchs fires in and hustling into second base to double to left center for Brock Jones. To lead the conference and 23 allowed. Also the fewest allowed in the Pac-12 as Carter Graham is three for three goes the other way. One run is in, here comes Brock Jones. Carter Graham, a two run single. And Stanford gets those two runs back that Oregon State scored in the top of the fourth inning. And the Cardinal now up 5-2 to two on Oregon State. You can see why these guys are so good. They've got power. They can hit it to the pull side with a lot of pop. But they're okay going the other way. Brock Jones with the double, the opposite field. And now Carter Graham takes what's given to him. Just He's okay. Just hit a single to the right side. We'll drive in two. I don't have to hit a home run right here. And both guys, one hole and the two hole for Stanford. Runner goes, and the throw, and out at second base is Montgomery trying to steal with Kyle, Dur rather Travis, the seventh, and two more in the eighth. A flare over third, and Jake Ducart, a blue pick to start the fifth. Third hit for Oregon State, and a leadoff base runner. I, I don't blame him. Justin Boyd, over the leaping shortstop, Crampton, who may have gotten his glove on it. Stopping at second is Kyle Dernetti in Oregon State has two on with one out here in the fifth. And he walked him on four. The bases are loaded for Oregon State. This season in college baseball and Melton goes the other way. Over the leaping out of Crampton to the left center. Kyle Dernetti is in. Flying home Wade Meckler to third. Garrett Forrester a one run ball game again. Call. And that's ball four because of a time delay. The Dow did not throw the pitch. Even if you got jammed. Strike three call, darts the outside corner, gets him looking, and Oregon State leaves the bases loaded. The two Bay Area schools. And that's ball four. And leadoff walk. Second time Huff has walked today. It, it, it had quite an impression on me. Line down the right field side, Drew Bowser for extra bases to the corner. Cody Huff hustling to third. And they're going to wave him in. Travis Pisana, no, Huff turns, slams on the brakes and goes back. Looked like he was coming. Then Steve Rodriguez, the third base coach, late stop sign. As Crampton draws a walk, and they're loaded for Brock Jones. Round ball to second, Travis Pisana charging. Fires to first, Brock Jones out. And Stanford leaves the bases loaded as DJ Carpenter wiggles out of it. Bruno the pitch, and Meckler draws a leadoff walk. So the second consecutive inning, Bruno has issued a leadoff walk. They line up. That's through the catcher Huff and a wild pitch and scooting along as Wade Meckler to second base. And now Oregon State won't have to give up an out. Weak number of the first base side. Tough play for Carter Graham. And Stanford throws it away. Here comes the tie run, Wade Meckler. Hitters just get hits, don't they? They find a way. Jacob Melton with his third hit of the game. And doesn't have to be pretty. Gets enough of the bat on the ball to the right side to make it difficult to Bruno, who falls off to his right side, to turn around and make an effort to get toward that ball. Graham does all he can to charge it. But Ryan Bruno's late to the bag. He tries to flip it. And you know, a timer has to go off in your head that you just can't make that play. Hold on to the baseball. It didn't matter. The runner didn't advance. The run was going to score anyway. but. Ball four, and a walk for Fuchs, and there's two on with two out. Interesting team to me to watch tomorrow. Swing and a miss, and Ryan Bruno strands two, but Oregon State ties the game. Bowser in the air to right, going back. Wade Meckler, warning track at the wall, gone! Opposite field for Drew Bowser. Fourth home run of the tournament, his 12th of the season, and Stanford goes back in front.
This is why repeating a pitch will cost you. That's four pitches in a row. Five Stanford. Bouncer to third. Jake Ducart climbs the ladder. And throws out Tommy Troy at first base. No, pulls Garrett Forster off the bag. So the throw, pulling Forster off the bag, and Troy is aboard in their last 15 games. Crampton a liner to left center. That's down for a hit. Racing around second, Tommy Troy to third. They're going to send him. The throw gets away from the shortstop, Kyle Dernetti. That allows Crampton to go to third base. 7-5, Stanford. The center fielder Boyd was shaded in the right center field. The pitch. Got him. Struck him out. Reed Sebi got him to chase. A couple of strikeouts, rather three strikeouts in the inning for Sebi. And he walks. One out base runner for Stanford. Down in a half hour. In the air to right field off the bat of Huff and deep. Back is Meckler. Going home run, Cody Huff. His third home run of the tournament. And Stanford has opened up a 9-5 lead. And again from the Cardinal, Todd, an opposite field home run. They've had more hits the opposite way than they have in the full side. That shows you why they're such a great hitting team, hitting over 300 as a group. So it can go both ways, but it's always interesting to me when the best team. In the air to center, Jacob Melton gives it a ride. Racing back, Brock Jones over his head. Bounces up against the wall. Melton around second, digging for third. And Jacob Melton will go in with a stand-up triple. He drilled that to the deepest part of the ballpark. High bouncer to first, Carter Graham has it. And the Stanford Cardinal win the Pac-12 Baseball Tournament. Sixteen consecutive wins for the Cardinal heading into the NCAA Tournament. The regular season champs of the Pac-12 now add the first Pac-12 Tournament championship to the trophy case. Ryan Bruno the winner, Reed Sebi takes the loss.